Harry and William got into an altercation. He wore a Nazi uniform to a Halloween party. He was not forced to wear that, talking about William's hair loss. But can we just stop shaming men for male pattern baldness? Because apparently he had a therapist on speed dial. He needs to fire that therapist. But let's not forget the other person that lost his mother. William. It's just the same hypocritical bullshit every single fucking time. Hey guys, so today's video, I just want to quickly go over some of the stories from Prince Harry's new book. Obviously I haven't read it, another week or two before it's actually even out, but some of the stories that are coming out of it are glaringly obvious there's something wrong. There's mention in the, I believe it's the 60 minute interview, which I haven't seen. Hi, <laughs> I knew you'd come up eventually. Hi. You have to be involved. Yes, you do. Wake up here. I just want to break down my opinions on some of the stories that have come out. Let's get into it. One of the first big stories that came out was around William and Harry altercation. So from Harry's words, which we will not hear another side to this story, so we only have Harry's recollection and narrative because the monarchy do not pick apart in a petty way stories from basically ex-employees like they may be part of the, what are you doing <laughs> hi <laughs> they may be part of the family but they're no longer part of the monarchy even though they still currently have their duke and duchess titles which at some point i think will be removed because they are no longer working royals i know that king charles wants to allocate such titles to actual working royals such as princess anne which i think is understandable so apparently there was this altercation where William said that Meghan was rude and abrasive. Harry and William got into an altercation and William grabbed hold of his necklace that broke and Harry fell onto a dog bowl and it broke. Harry told William to get out. Around that time, people were aware there was complaints from the staff against Meghan because of the way that Meghan was treating staff members, which people are allowed to raise. It was just, she was rude and abrasive to people who worked there and therefore they lodged a complaint because they didn't want to get treated like scum. But that's where this, apparently, why this altercation took place. Which is interesting considering as well, there has been another story about Meghan saying that Kate had baby brain and Kate took offence to that and Meghan and Harry were completely up in arms as to why she would take offence to something like that. Harry and Meghan have taken offence to every single little thing criticised about them. I think it's extremely hypocritical for them to turn around and say that Kate being diminished in a way and saying like, oh, she's just got baby brain. If, if someone said that about Meghan, they'd be up in arms. But because they've said that some, about somebody else, they think it's okay. Which, speaking of, there has been another story around this whole Nazi uniform. So if you're not aware, when Harry was like 21, I want to say, he wore a Nazi uniform to a Halloween party. Now, no one thought that was fucking funny. Rather than take responsibility for the fact that he was 21, he actually had the option, he in his own words has said, I had the option between, I think it was a pilot and the Nazi uniform. He asked for his feedback to William and Kay, and at the time, apparently, we only have Harry's point of view here, so we don't know if this is actually true or not, but apparently William and Kate said that they thought that was funny and therefore he wore it. Now, even if that were the case, he was not forced to wear that. He literally had a choice between two costumes, one which would never have been offensive and one that was terribly offensive. And he chose, even if those were the only two costumes in the whole entire world, why would you wear something where literally six million people fucking died? What? In what world would you ever think that that was okay? And the fact that rather than turn around and say, do you know what, even though I asked for their advice, I was still responsible for wearing that and I apologise for anyone who I offended for minimising the atrocities that happened all those years ago. Rather than take responsibility for that, he is putting the blame on someone else as if he had no responsibility. It just shows... He has not grown, I think he's like 40 years old now. He has not grown at all. And that shows by the fact that he continuously puts down his brother in a very, very petty way. Talking about William's hair loss and says that it's astonishing, I think's the word he used. I'm sorry, but what, can we just stop shaming men for male pattern baldness? Someone who I was with for seven fucking years lost his hair at 17 due to 
the tablets he was on due to his photosensitive epilepsy. Many men who I've fucking uh, dated in the past have lost their hair in their early 20s. It is extremely standard, unfortunately. It's something that should not be fucking shamed. That's like shaming someone for having disability or being slightly overweight. Can we stop shaming people for things especially they not, cannot control? What is wrong with you? Something I forgot to mention with that whole William and Harry altercation was the fact that the first thing Harry did was phone up his therapist because apparently he had a therapist on speed dial. He needs to fire that therapist. I'm sorry, he really fucking does. That therapist has not helped him in any way, shape or form. Move on at all. He is a fucking man child. <laughs> just, I'm getting heated because it's just the same hypocritical bullshit every single fucking time. Him and Megan open their mouths. They talk about climate change and all the things happening in the world, which are things that need to be spoken about whilst they're flying around in a fucking private jet as if it's a taxi. Can you just notice your own behaviours that are toxic to yourselves? They just annoy me. Anyway, <laughs> there is this weird obsession that Harry has with his mother. And don't get me wrong, I appreciate that his mother passed away when he was a young boy. But let's not forget the other person that lost his mother, William. Harry acts consistently like he's the only person who was affected by Diana's death. He isn't. His brother also had to go through exactly the same thing as Harry did. And if anything, William had more eyes on him because he was literally the heir to the throne after Charles. Harry does not have that responsibility to be the next in line. He could walk away from the monarchy. William can't. He doesn't have that same freedom. There's been a lot of resentment as well shown in some of the extracts that have been seen from this book. There was, this is before Harry met Meghan, so people cannot blame this on Meghan. There was a really strange extract where he was going to talk about about Kate's legs within his best man speech at the wedding or something. Harry also didn't like the fact that William like had a wife, had a family and was spending and giving more attention to them than to him. He said he felt sick growing distance with him and his brother just because William was a married man with a newborn and said he could not stay out with Meg and him because his wife and kids. It just shows it in complete immaturity. There's also a lot of obsessive, I can't find them now, but there's a lot of obsessive comments around Kate. So much nitpicking and there's even stories about him apparently wetting himself before meeting Megan about smoking weed after like their first date and then her phoning him there's just a lot a lot a lot a lot of unhealthiness and what makes it a hundred thousand times worse is the fact that he spoke about how many people he had killed when he was in the army you don't do that. There is a number of reasons. One of which is the fact that if he genuinely wanted to keep his wife, his children and all of his family safe, all he's done is now put a target on every single person's back. There could even be terrorist attacks now in the UK because of what he's said. So he's not just putting all of his family at risk, Meghan and Harry and his kids as well, but the whole of the UK at risk. There's something he chose to do. He chose to go into the army and he killed those people. The ghostwriter and the publishers said that we don't think we should publicise this. And Harry was the one who pushed it out. So if anything happens to anyone because of that story, because of what he's said, that lays with him. I genuinely hope it doesn't. I don't want anyone to get hurt, whether it's him, his family, the royal family, or a single person in the UK. I mean, I work in London and now I'm not... I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared to go back in. Every member of the army has this unsaid rule that they never talk about what happened over there when they come home because it's traumatic and it's, it's something they're not proud of but they had to do for their country. Harry does not have any boundaries or respect for anyone but himself and Meghan. I realised during editing that I forgot to mention. He also discusses in the book whether himself and William are circumcised, which is a complete invasion of privacy. Imagine if it was the other way around. Harry would be so, so upset if William had outed that. I forgot to mention around his mother, but the fact that one of the things that he's found so astonishingly terrible regarding Diana's death was the fact that paparazzi were photographing and, and videoing her when she passed away. And yet, what was in that documentary series? Video and photo of that exact scene. The hypocrisy consistently hits new levels. I don't know what has happened to him, but it's nothing good. And like I said, I genuinely feel like he needs to fire his therapist. He's spiralling and he's so stuck. However old he was when his mum died, he is stuck as that child and he is 
not growing at all. And that is what a therapist is meant to do. A, a therapist is meant to help you progress and get over situations. It can take months, years, but they are meant to help you progress as a person. That's what therapy is there for, that he literally has on call, but he doesn't know how to take any responsibility for a single thing he has done wrong. <sighs> if you liked this video or liked any of my opinions, please make sure to give us a like and subscribe if you feel like it, I'd really appreciate it. I haven't watched the documentary series yet. It is something that I have on my list to watch and go through, but I kind of wanted things to calm down a little bit. And with the book coming out, I feel like it's gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of shit that's coming out. I mean, even just from the extracts people have seen, like I said, there's just, there's so many already. If you wanna see me talk about the documentary series, break apart some of the things that were said, things maybe that I like, things I didn't, things I didn't understand or didn't agree with, let me know in a comment. But I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you all in the next one.